The Home Buyer Checklist and how to make your offer more competitive in this competitive market. Today we're talking about the no home sale contingency. Ultimately, if you're a buyer without something to sell, then you can check this box off right away. It's already something that makes you a little bit more competitive. If you do have a house to sell and you're planning on selling your house, you might want to have the conversation with your mortgage banker about if you would qualify buying the new house without selling your old. Now, hey, that's worst case scenario. If you can do that, then you could write an offer without a home sale contingency and ultimately have very little to no risk. It is very risky, however, if you do have a house to sell and you do write the offer without a home sale contingency and you can't buy this next house without this house selling, then that's a risky proposition. Not to be doom and gloom, but what would happen if those buyers were in a tragic accident on the way to closing? You wouldn't be able to sell your house and for no fault of your own, you wouldn't be able to buy the next house and you'd be defaulted on your contract and ultimately you could lose your deposits. There's a lot of risk in removing a home sale contingency if you do not qualify for both purchases. And this is something that is a really great conversation to go in depth and talk to your mortgage banker about whether this is a possibility for you. Should you have any questions about this option or really anything else on this home buyer checklist, we'd love to chat with you. The best number to get us at is 617 480 2600, or you can visit us online at boston2.com. We look forward to helping you with all of your buying needs and answering all of your buying questions. I'm Jeff Chubb with, the EXP, with EXP Realty, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.